Hello, good morning, I hope you are fine. Child of God, do you know that you look like where you go regularly? If you go somewhere regularly, say for instance, you go to the library regularly, very soon, on the condition of course that you make, the, make good use of the library, you will soon become more intelligent. You will start to know more things. So if you also go regularly to Facebook, and depending of course on what you look at on Facebook and on social media, very soon, you will look at that place that you go regularly. In today's first reading, which is taken from Exodus chapter 34, from verses 29 to 35, we find that Moses had been going to the tent of meeting regularly, where he went to meet with God. And because he went to meet, meet with God regularly at the tent of meeting, when he came back to the camp, his disciples, his followers, Aaron and others, noticed that his face was shining brilliantly, was shining so much that the others couldn't look upon him anymore. This is exactly what happens to us when we do go into God's presence regularly. God transforms us and we begin to shine. We begin to shine and take note that Moses did not even know that he was shining. It was those who saw him and noticed that he was shining so much. So when you go into the place of prayer regularly, when you visit God's presence regularly, you might not know that you are beginning to be transformed. You might not notice that you are beginning to shine in ways that you did not shine before. But those around you will notice that something has changed about you. The opposite is true. If you begin to frequent bad places, places you shouldn't be going to, whether virtually or uh, in real life, you begin to be transformed negatively into those places. And you might not notice, but those around you will notice that something is wrong with you. This guy is no longer shining like he used to do. Now, this is something I want you to take note of this morning, that God wants to transform you. But for that to happen, you must spend time in his presence regularly. Now, in what ways does God make us to shine? The first one, of course, is physically. When we go into God's presence, we shine physically. And there's no way to explain this. It just happens. Now, there is this short story that we all know uh, about the madman who would never go into the church. So when people were coming out of the church, they would give him some money. And one day, a woman said to the madman, why don't you come into the church so you also pray with us? And the madman said, well, I don't know what you guys go to do in there. But I notice that each time you are coming out from the church, you are all frowning your faces as if somebody has poured some water on you. Whatever happens to you people in there, I don't want it to happen to me. This is why I don't go into the church, said the madman. So child of God, when we leave the presence of God, let us shine with joy. Let us let people know that we have been in the presence of the source of the universe, that we know what has happened to us in God's presence. That's physically. It's another way that God makes us shine when we come into his presence. It's in our wisdom. If you spend time with God in prayers and with his word, you begin to be wiser, even without your knowing it. You become wiser progressively. So, in our gospel reading of this morning, for example, what happened is that Jesus, in Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 to 46, tells us about a man who was in search of very uh, precious parents. As soon as he found one, he went ahead and sold everything he had and came to buy it. Another man was in search of treasures and he found one in the field in which he was working. He sold everything he owned, bought the field so that he can have the treasure for himself. These are financial, uh, uh, financial wisdom stories, of course. I'm sure you know that apart from the kingdom of God, the other thing that Jesus talked mostly about was about money, about how to be financially savvy, how to be financially wise. So as you spend time in God's presence, God makes you progressively wiser and wiser. And the wiser you become, the more you will be able to shine in the real world. Now, the third and final thing I'd like to show to you this morning, in ways we, a way in which we can shine, is in our relationship with people, in our relationship with people. You see, you will never know how to relate with people until you have spent time in God's presence. God's word has a way of making us understand how human beings work. You know, Moses didn't know initially that his shining was disturbing, so to speak, his own followers. He just came out from God's presence, he was shining, and he put everything out there. Thank God that he didn't kill him for it. 
Child of God, you will shine if you spend time in God's presence. You will shine in your wisdom, you will shine in your virtue, and you will even shine physically. But learn from Moses to be discreet. What Moses did was then to cover his face. He covered the shining part of his face from his followers and only removed the veil when he was in God's presence. Child of God, you must learn to be discreet. You must learn to be smart. You cannot put everything out there. You cannot advertise every one of your progress steps because there are people who like you. There are also people who may not like you. So this is where as you shine and as you progress, and that's what I wish for you, you should learn to spend time in God's presence. You should learn to benefit from spending time in God's presence, but you should also learn to be tactful about with whom you share your step-by-step -step progress. We don't mind to God bless and keep you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.